Hello people of YouTube, welcome to my kitchen. Today it's time for one more Tex-Mex recipe that you will fall in love with. Chicken enchiladas. I will show you the proper way to make a slightly spicy and saucy chicken filling roll up in tortillas and bake to perfection. Hands down the best. And let's begin. We need a chopping board. We need a non-stick pan on heat. And first we have to start with the chicken. So, we need olive oil, salt and pepper for the chicken. I have two lovely chicken breasts here and I will cut into small pieces like this. Easy. Mix everything together, olive oil, salt and pepper and chicken goes into the pan. And let's prepare our veggies. I have two peppers. You can use any color you like, but if you use red and orange, then your enchiladas will be very, very, very colorful. And this is something we want. And just cut into fine slices the peppers. I love this recipe. We carry on with an onion, same way. And I have two cloves of garlic, same way, slices. And what's happening here? Woohoo! Look at this lovely color. Don't stir all the time the chicken because actually, if you're stirring all the time the meat, then the meat will take out all these juices and actually will boil instead of saute. Right. So, don't boil the meat, saute the meat. This is very important and when you saute the meat and you have this lovely, sexy color, add the veggies, peppers, onions, and of course the garlic. And now, you have to be patient and you have to caramelize everything together. I need you to stay here for 15 minutes and stir every two minutes. And when the chicken and the veggies are ready, we will carry on with the recipe. Everything is nice and sexy and it's time to add some flavor to the meat. This is cumin or cumin. And during this procedure, all the flavor from the cumin will go inside the chicken. Now, it's time for the tomato paste or tomato paste. I don't know what is the correct. Tomato, it's easier for me. So, saute a little bit and the paste. You have to saute the paste to make the sauce thicker. And now, it's time to deglaze the pan with some white wine, if you want. If you don't want to add any alcohol to your food, just add the tomato. We have tomato sauce here. And it's time to make this lovely stuffing a little bit spicy. So I have two chilies here with the seeds. So I will add two chilies inside the sauce. And we have to wait about 10 minutes until the liquid evaporates. And as you can see, my sauce is thick and I will take off the heat and I will add the rest of the ingredients. First, we have to add a little bit salt and pepper. Salt, pepper. I know that the stuffing is already spicy, but I love the taste of the pepper. That's why I'm adding pepper. A little bit of coriander. and black beans. Black beans, coriander, and while it's still hot, you can add the mixed cheese inside the stuffing. This is lovely. Mix everything together. Look at this beauty. And if you want a lemony taste, you can add a squeeze of lime at this point. If you don't like this 
lemony flavor to not add. I will keep some lime for the end of the recipe. Now, it's time to prepare the enchiladas. And I have tortillas here. I have a lovely pan. Where is my pan? Here is my pan. And easy. Just a drop of olive oil. And it's time to prepare the first one. I think this goes back. And I did this one. And take a nice spoonful of stuffing. And take your tortilla and wrap it this way. The first is ready. Make sure that the seam side is down. And I will carry on with the rest, same way, one spoonful. Two. One more. Four. And I have stuffing for one more wrap, I think, but it's not going to be a waste because during the time that enchiladas will bake inside the oven, I will eat the stuffing as it is. Now, it's time for some cheese. It should be enough. Have some lovely tomato here. Because I like this freshness that tomato will give to the enchiladas. So add a little bit of tomato, trust me, and it will take a lovely flavor from the oven, the tomato. It will be baked and nice and sexy. Or you can add it to the end. Now, a little bit of tomato to the top. This is lovely. And my oven is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius at the fan. No, I need to add some olive oil. And I will bake for about 10 minutes until they are crispy and sexy. 10 minutes and I will serve them. And my enchiladas are ready. Oh my God. Look at this loveliness. Look at this. Oh la la. You like it? and it will be the same way on the inside. Look at this. Two. And how you will serve them? Very easy. Just, I have here Greek yogurt. You can add sour cream if you like, but Greek yogurt is better because it's healthier. So, a little bit of coriander, a little bit of chili to the top, and a little bit more chili everywhere. If you want to become extra spicy, it's okay. A little bit of coriander and the hint of lime. Give the opportunity to your friends to add some lime to their enchiladas. And this is for me. Ooh -hoo. And you have to come close. Come, 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 come. Look at Lovely. It's crunchy both sides. And it's very, very juicy. And very, very hot. And very, very spicy and very, very sexy, and I will try it. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, this is amazing. Subscribe to our channel, make comments under the video, and of course, share this lovely recipe with your friends. See you next time, bye-bye. Yasas, would you like to try?